a fire in a house in a residential neighborhood and being in a high rise. This is our platform that we work off of. We take this to the front of the house. All of our tools are here. Our hoses deploy. If we're in a high rise, we've got to take the fight to the fire. We have to pack up our high rise equipment. We have to take our tools, a thermal camera, go up, work in a coordinated manner with other companies, the ladder company, so we have forcible entry capability. And it just, that's a big game changer between what we normally do and what we do in a high rise job. You're right. All right. Well, is any board responsible to call up down any engine company responsible for high rise fire in the city of Charlotte? We have usually three different types of hose we carry. Now we've been asked to carry two and a half inch because of the diameter of the hose and the supply of water that we can receive from two and a half inch hose, which he carries a section of two and a half, which will hook into the standpipe. Some of them will carry this section, which is also two and a half, which carry has a nozzle in for the water flow that we will be using on a particular given fire. Also, the captain, because of the length of the legs, usually will carry 50 feet, two and a half inch, so we average about 150 feet of hose to be able to you know, reach the distance of a fire from the standpipe, along with other companies that are coming, that would be able to also help extend the line if we need be off the two and a half inch high rise kits. Okay.